If you've been following along, you know that Reverend Tom and I have been in the hot seat these past few weeks talking about controversial topics. This past week, we asked for submissions from the community and tackled nine topics in two minutes each. And we included things like doubt, gun control, defunding the police, and hate. Now, we know intuitively the harm that hate has on our spirits, our bodies, and our society. The Buddha says that holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal that you intend to throw to another, and you're the one who gets burned. A few moments cruising social media, whichever bubble you are connected to, or a couple of clicks past the pundits' perspectives from the so-called news networks, and you can literally feel the damage being done when people, systems, society, and our social structures harbor hate. Yet the Hebrew Bible tells us that there is both a time for love and a time for hate. So are there times when hate is helpful? Well, Jesus is absolute about one thing. Love all of your neighbors as yourself. And oh, by the way, forgive your enemies seven times, 77 times. So it seems pretty clear that love, not hate, is the only appropriate way to relate to God's beloved children, the rest of creation, including the earth, and yourself. But the psalmist sings, let those who love God hate evil. And Amos inspired Israel with this line, hate evil and love good and establish justice in the gate. So it would seem that the consequence of a passion for a more just, healthy, and harmonious world would lead us to disdain, if not hate, injustice, casteism, policies that protect white supremacy. You get the idea. If we love rightly, we will inevitably recognize that there is indeed a time, or maybe I should say inequitable systems, to hate. If you want to hear more, click on the link below to listen to all nine quick takes and join us this Sunday at 1030 because everybody needs a little sanctuary. See you soon.